This place is remarkable. Outfitting it must have been no small feat. But why go to such trouble? That beauty's belly's filled with wonders the world ain't ready for. If the guilds caught wind of what we were up to, they'd all want a piece. All right. And how is he? Do not blame yourself. He was barely breathing when you brought him here. We would have lost him if it were not for you. No. Barnabas may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Nigh every sinew? <laughs> Allow me, your lordship. Don't know what I was thinking, putting you to the trouble like that. <laughs> It is no trouble carrying comestibles to my ailing nephew. I know, but... You've already done so much for us. Pouring your gill into the hideway and now the ship. I don't want to take the piss. You risked your life. And for what? Some gill you hardly know. Why'd you do it? You got mad or something? I... wouldn't go that far. Clive! You're awake. My boy! <laughs> oh. <laughs> what I want to do is help. And the world won't save itself. It was Sid. Your father. Who taught me that? Sounds like him. Don't you dare do that again. What of the Royalists? Fucked off, the lot of them, along with the Galleon. With the King on board, no doubt. The Iron Heyer wouldn't sail without him. <sighs> Clive. Jill didn't come back. What do you mean? She kept the king busy while the others dragged you out. It's all right, Mid. Jill is fine. The ether of her icon endures. And as long as it does, we can be certain she is alive. <laughs> We must pursue the Black Galleon. Jill will be with the King, I'm sure of it. Well, good luck catching him, because my ship's going nowhere. It's the Mithril engine. She's got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the hull in half. But do you have an idea? Uh, well, of course I do. My dad has seen this coming a league off. If I had his old writings, if you had his old writings, you'd be sitting under a fuckload of rubble. The ones Otto didn't save anyway. I suppose he might still have a few pages in his stores. We'll have to hope it's enough. Do what you can to ready the ship. I'll speak with Otto. In your condition? You really are mad. <laughs> Perhaps. But the world really won't save itself. I've said that Otto might know something. So what do I owe the honor? What do you want? So 
scratches, all right? meant to do that then. No scratches, all right? Say myself. And Clive. Go on then. I reckon I can find a buyer. Be thankful you got that much. You got out else? I 
I reckon I can find a buyer. You got out else? Finished, are you? Good morrow to you, my friend. I don't believe you've read this particular chapter before. What subject shall we consider today? to the shelves shall ever be open. supposed to do our duty when the hills are crawling with a kashik and the valleys are full of ether. Oh, indeed. My men have lost an entire day avoiding... Oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Come to claim your just desserts. All yours. You earned this. Come again. I may have more for you. If you're here, where the hell is everyone else? Don't tell me. They're all right. But it's a long story. You lot don't do things by halves, do you? But at least everyone's still breathing. Now, as for these writings, I'm sorry to say, Clive, but if you had those, you'd be... Sitting under a pile of rubble, I know. But we were able to save a few bits and pieces from the ruins, most of which ended up being used to build this place. The more personal items we gave to the next of kin. In the case of Sid's things, that would have been mid. Then I'll check the workshop.
will it be today? I cannot claim. Such are the wages. Ironic, then. And how could it not? But are we any better? Allow me to educate you. The state of the realm is ever-changing, Clive. This looks like it's from Sid's old diary. But you'll already have read it. I'd better keep looking. Uh, I know this is your hideaway, but uh, you really shouldn't be in here. If mid. What do we have here? It's pipes. Something tells me Mid won't be needing these. We've had no word from Canva for days. Please tell me Mid is all right. Sid's best invention. Huh. That sounds promising. So Sid hid something in Mid's first opus. But what would that be? Perhaps Otto might know. If 
if Amber and the Lazarus had gone. Well, did you find anything? Possibly. You wouldn't happen to know what Mid's first opus was. Opus? That girl's as tone deaf as a banshee. Unless you mean the orchestrion. She couldn't have been more than what, 11, 12, when she cobbled that thing together? It surprised us all. Not least her dad. You should have seen how proud he was of the little scamp. What's that battered old box had to do with anything? I think Sid may have hidden something inside it. <laughs> wouldn't surprise me. Those two and their bloody treasure hunts. Half the things in the hideaway were hidden one time or another. I didn't break it. Well, I didn't break it. What didn't you break? Nothing. We didn't break nothing. We definitely didn't break your question. <sighs> What's wrong with it? It's broken. Except when it isn't. See? And you had nothing to do with this. Nope. Nothing. We just wanted to listen to all the songs at once. So we press all the buttons. Like this. See? <sighs> all too well. All right, out of the way. started playing when I removed this. Whatever it is. Well, don't look at me. I can tell you it's important, though. Sid showed it to me once and said as much. Said it was the stuff dreams were made of. <sighs> Let's just hope it's the stuff ships are made of as well. Indeed. Let's see if we can make some dreams come true. Just the two I was looking for. Aye, aye. Who's a patient? Actually, yes. The Crown Prince just left. Dion left? Unless you've another word for stood up and walked off. Yes, left. He did have the decency to leave a message with Obelis before commandeering one of his dinghies. Should we go after him? No. We're not the Prince's keepers. 
He's free to do as he sees fit. I'd rather he did so in bed. His wounds are nowhere near healed. Much like yours, I suspect. Otto told me what happened in Canver. What is it with this realm's princes and their aversion to rest? Uh, ask me when I get back. Though I may be some time. Then at least try to stay safe. And if that fails, try to stay alive, eh? Every moment I waste here, the further the flagship sails. I have to get back. said it was an army of a cash she can't kick this glory to Griga there you are I'm not a moment too soon what's happened Tyre's busy working herself into an early grave since the arrival of her latest patient, she's refused to stop, even for a moment. I've tried offering to see to him in her stead, but she won't hear of it. Clive, she hasn't left the infirmary in days. She's pushing herself too hard. And if she doesn't rest soon, will you talk to her? Order her to her chambers, if that's what it takes. Because if she keeps this up, I fear the hideaway will be without its best physica before too long. I know better than to order Taya to do anything. But I'll speak to her. Oh, thank you. I pray you have better luck than I did. Rodriguez worried about you. And if what he says is true, then so am I. We all admire your dedication, but... You do need to rest. I will, when it's time. Until then, I'm staying put. We owe him that much. Who is he? Someone from my past. Someone who doesn't deserve to die alone. It won't be much longer. The crystal's curse has almost finished its work. If I had the tears, I could ease his passing. But without them, we've nothing that will touch the agony of those last few hours. How would tears help this man? Not my tears. Tears of mercy. Alicia, it's the only thing strong enough. You wouldn't, Tyre. Surely. There must be something we can do for him. Sometimes an easy death is the greatest kindness we can offer. You do well to remember that, Rodrigue. I... I... I will. We have all the ingredients we need for Alicia Balwam. It needs to be fresh, though, so we rarely have much to hand. I can make the draft if you can bring me what we're missing. Just tell me what you need. There is a species of venom-weeping spider that lives in the forests of Norvent, near Lorbert's Pass. Bring me one of their eyes. Preserve it as best you can, but avoid contact with the tears. I'll make sure the other ingredients are ready before you return. Thank you, Clive. I won't forget this.
Who's that sulking over there by the lift? Sid! Vaguely. Is something wrong? I'm afraid so. I was able to get most of the Morgan beards to take root, but they rarely flower. I fear the soil here does not agree with them. However, I believe I have a solution. I can't wait to hear it. I'm going to marry the Morgan Beards with Morbles. I know, I know, but hear me out. Morbles are possessed of a highly choleric temperament. The fire which drives them appears to be maintained by an abundance of nutrient-rich ether drawn from their environs. I believe that by grafting a Morble vine to a Morgan Beard, the appendage's wealth of vigor-inducing nutrients might well stimulate the flower to bloom. The endeavor, I assure you, is scientifically sound. I simply need a vine to prove the theory. <sighs> and all you need is a single vine from an ordinary morble. That is correct. A single vine. As for the morble, I fear ordinary may not suffice. But, as luck would have it, a most extraordinary specimen is rumored to haunt the swamps of Rosaria. Why, a notice concerning this very creature was only recently posted on the hunt board. How timely. Well, I shan't keep you any longer. I know you have much to do, as do I. Now, where did I put my watering can? If it's knowledge you seek, Right, Clive. Blackthorn told me you helped him out again. Ta for that. Speaking of which, I'm actually a bit um worried about him. And you want my advice. Afraid so. It's a bit of a funny one, this, but I saved this posh knob while I was out on a mission, and he gave me this flashy ring to say thank you. So 
Obviously, I show it to Blackthorn, thinking he'll be impressed, only for him to go white as a sheet and quiet as a curl instead. Try as I might, I can't for the life of me work out what could have got him upset like that. And seeing as how Blackthorn opens up when you're around, I thought maybe... I'd speak to him again. Well, I suppose there's no point leaving him to stew. Cheers, Clive. I'll be sure to pay him a visit as soon as I have a moment. All right. I'll meet you by the forge, then. You come along when you're ready. Come on. Fly, Ambrosia. All right. Safe. This one. Good. Sick of it. 
anything but ordinary. Now, let's get this vine back to the yard. What are you after? Thanks very much. There you go. Much obliged. There you go. obliged Wanted one of those. A fair trade. Is that everything? Take care out there, eh? Rodriguez could have mentioned his spiders would be the size of curls. All yours, Torgal! Sickle! 
Rodrigo will have prepared the other ingredients by now. Thank goodness you're back. Taya looks like she's about to collapse. Is this what you needed? Yes, it is. Thank you, Clive. I'm loath to give a patient Alicia, but Taya's right. Sometimes it's all we can do. A single dose dulls even the most agonizing pain, and all other sensation with it. It may be a gentle way to die, but it is death nonetheless. I wish there was another way. How are you feeling? Light, my dear. Drifting on waves. Good. Just relax. Let the waves carry you to a better place. Thank you, Daya. I'm... so proud of you. He's gone. Thank you, Rodrigue. And you, Clive? I'll see that he's properly laid to rest. The man you helped today was my mentor, back in the Southern Isles, on the front lines of some meaningless war. I was still a child when they shipped me to their triage tents. ...to treat the wounded with my gift. But in such blighted lands, I was next to useless. 
until he taught me the true physiker's art, that is. An art we would be lost without. Tears of mercy were his gift to the bearers of the world. A respite from the agony of the curse's end. And a kindness Sid would have approved of. You know as well as I what life is like for a bearer soldier. Marched from one battle to the next, never knowing which might be your last. A commander may care nothing for the bearer spent in his service. But my mentor's gift gave the dying one fleeting moment of tranquility before the end. I've no tears left, Clive. I've seen too many of my friends taken. Something needs to change. And we need to be the ones to change it. And we will. I promise. I hope so. Across the sea, once told me that on the continent they. Uh, Sid, I uh, can't help but notice that your satchel is twitching in a most violent manner. Here, yeah. it's your problem now. What an amazing specimen! The flesh positively throbs with vitality. If I can successfully graft this to the Morgan Beards... Uh, when? When I successfully graft this to the Morgan Beards, I suspect the results will be immediate. I shall begin at once. Just as I hoped. Witness how the Morganbeards have taken to the blighted soil. How they bloom with heretofore unseen vigor. Why, I dare say such a vine graft would yield similar results when applied to other specimens as well. I'm glad I could be of assistance. You've not only helped us, Sid. You've saved us. Do you recall the extract with which I provided you before? I took a moment to distill some more. But this time, with the petals from the invigorated Morganbeards. And would you believe... Its potency has nearly doubled. You must accept this file as thanks for your assistance. The rest, I shall give to Taya.
Bloody hell, Clive. Not this again. Oh, and you got better things to do with your time. That remains to be seen. August tells me he showed you a ring, and that the sight of it clearly upset you. Would you mind telling us why? Come on, mate. Bottling it up ain't gonna help no one. If it weren't the ring, and it was something I said, then I'm sorry. It was the ring, right? It brought back some unhappy memories, that's all. Memories better left forgotten. Memories of what? There are things we'd all rather leave behind, Blackthorn. But sometimes it helps to talk about them. And sometimes it doesn't. Is that so hard to understand? Don't be like that. Fine. If it'll get you off my back. That ring you flashed was the work of Zoltan. We apprenticed together back in the day. You've never mentioned him before. Why would I? I ain't seen him in decades, and the last time I did, we almost came to blows. The ring brought it all back. I could tell it was one of his the moment I saw it. Bastards improved, though. More than I thought possible. That thing's a work of art. So it was a nice ring. Worth a few gill, maybe. What's it matter to you? It matters, because engraving metal's a nightmare, and I've got no bloody idea how he managed it. The fact is, I couldn't make anything even half that detailed. So what? You're an armorer, not a jeweler. I'm the Idaway's master craftsman. I'm not stealing a living at some backwater village forge. My armor keeps you lot safe, and my swords keep you dangerous. As far as I'm concerned, every swing of my hammer's another blow struck in the name of our cause. So I put my heart and soul into my work. Because the curse breakers deserve better than second best. And I refuse to be shown up by the likes of Zoltan. Very well. Why don't we go and pay him a visit? Learn his secret? I doubt he'd be too happy to see me. Then just this once. Make peace with being second best. Swallow your pride. And focus all your energies on the task at hand. Keeping the curse breakers armed and armored. Provided you can do that, you'll hear no complaints from me. But if you can't, and it's going to distract you, we need to do something about it. What'd you say, Blackthorn? You know he's right. And it's not like you'll be going alone. All right. Magic. So, where do you reckon old what's-his-name is then? Zoltan, was it? In Dravozd, my old village. He won't have left. He's the chief. Dravosh, eh? That rings a bell. Not far from Tabor, right? Just north of the fields of Carava. Got that, Clive? Meet us at Dravosh as soon as you can, yeah? And I'll make sure Blackthorn don't get cold feet. Good luck with that. I'll see you there. You have my thanks. Without your medicines and your wisdom, Tabor would be but a shadow of itself. How may I serve you? 
Go safely, my lord. Cities and the sea. Ready, go. Fly, Ambrosia. Enough of you are there. Done already? No. This charmer ain't letting anyone through. Why are the gates closed? Chief's orders. No one's allowed in without his say so. Not that I'd have let you in anyway. You look like trouble. I suggest you go home. That's what I'm trying to do, you little prick. You ain't changed a bit, have you, Snotty? No. It isn't. Blackthorn. Long time no see, eh? What the hell are you doing here? Well, it was meant to be a surprise, but since you are so nicely, I'm here to see Zoltan, you fucking numbskull. Now let us through. All right. Just... Don't go starting anything with the Chief. Yeah, I'll promise I won't throw the first punch. That good enough for you? Go on then. Much obliged. So this is Dravoshd. Not much going on, is there? It's a smithing town. When I was a lad, you'd have to shout to be heard over the sound of hammer on anvil. Clive, you're good with people. You 
you speak to Zoltan. Hey, you ain't backing out now, are you? There's a river of bad blood between me and the Chief. But if someone can build me a bridge, then I'll cross it. All right. I'll see what I can do. I appreciate it. It'll be near the forge on the hill. It was our master's. He'd have inherited it when I left. Forge on the hill. Uh, good luck. You'll be needing it. But if we can't fire the forges, how are we going to earn our keep? Mama, why hasn't Papa come back yet? Potter! Potter, damn it! Those miserable flames wouldn't melt butter, let alone iron! Pardon the intrusion. I'm looking for the chief. That'd be me. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'll bet it is. Keep the gates closed, I tell him. Well done, snotty. You're not welcome here. Get out. Before things turn nasty. Blackthorn's here. What did you say? He's traveled a long way to see you. <sighs> yes, has he? He's waiting. Down by the gates. Then I suggest you take him with you when you leave. Didn't you apprentice together? So what if we did? Fuck! We're getting nowhere! These bearers' flames are next to bloody useless! We're never going to be able to fire up the forges unless we can find some new crystals. I'm a busy man, as you can see, so do me a favor and piss off. Oh, and if you're struggling to find your way out, ask Blackthorn. That prick knows exactly where the exit is. He's not wanted here, and neither are you. All right, I'm going. Chief, you've got to do something. If this keeps up, we'll be ruined. Mama, why hasn't Papa come back yet? If we can't fire the forges, how are we going to earn our keep? Shut your hole. The chief will think of something. Let me guess. Zoltan told you to piss off. As a personal favor to him, yes. Well, at least he didn't beat about the bush. There'll be no talking him round. Not after what I did. Which is what exactly? If we're to help, we need to know. What turned the village against you? I left. Dravosht. Zoltan. The burden of leadership our dying master dropped in our laps. <laughs> All of it. There are two kinds of smiths in this world, you see. My kind, who are in it for the love of the craft who labor on a single piece from dawn to dusk to get it just right. And the other kind, who are in it for different reasons. People like Zoltan, whose work is quick and cheap. The kind of smiths who shit out a few hundred blades, reap the profit and divvy it out among themselves. There wasn't a single day we weren't at each other's throats. And bit by bit, people started taking sides. You would have torn Dravos in half had it gone on. So, I left. You didn't have to do that. Zoltan's a better chief than I would have been. His way of doing things kept food on people's tables. Dravosh prospered without me and my lofty ideals getting in the road. Until the crystals run out at any rate. Without magic to fire the furnaces, this place is as good as dead. It depends on how you look at it, though. There's got to be other ways of making fire. We manage it in the Deadlands. Thanks to Sid's ingenuity, yeah. 
He saw all of this coming. New crystals were the problem, not the solution. And spent years coming up with ways of doing without. You know what I mean, though, right? Where there's a will, there's a way. But what I'm trying to say is that it's not your fault. You couldn't have predicted this. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. I don't want to be the greatest smith alive just because I happen to be the last. Clive. Dravosh won't last long without his furnaces. So, do you think it's time we shared Sid's bellows with the world? The way I see it, it's your decision to make. Hold on, Blackthorn. Sid made those things for us. They give us an edge over the rest. And you'd be throwing it away. All right. Do it. This place was your home. I won't abandon it to its fate. Sid's creations were never meant to be hoarded. It was only ever a matter of time before we shared them. Let this be another step on the road to freeing Valisthea from the prison of the Crystal's blessing. Dravorst will show the world that it's possible. Wouldn't you agree, August? When you put it that way, of course. It's like hearing Sid speak from beyond the grave. Thank you, Clive. Shall I go and fetch the plans, then? I know I'm off by heart. I'll be needing some help, though. Building a furnace isn't exactly a one-man job. Do us a favor and round up anyone strong enough to lug a brick or two with you, August. Uh, all right, then. And I've got a job for you, too, Clive. Finding me some salamander skin. I need leather for the bellows, and nothing else will withstand the heat. Luckily for us... Salamanders feed out in the fields of Carava. Time for a spot of hunting, then. Let's make this quick, shall we?
dare say that would be enough for a decent set of bellows. What's this all about, then? Don't know. Any trouble finding the skin? Nothing I couldn't handle. <laughs> there should be plenty. Right, then. Time to put these louts to work. If everyone pulls their weight, we'll be finished in no time. Be damned! I honestly didn't think it'd work! But it's hot enough, all right, and without a single crystal in sight. You know what this means, don't you? <laughs> I do, yeah! Dravoged is saved! Sorry about earlier. I, uh, I take back everything I said. That thing you built us is an honest to God's marvel. You saved our village. It's Blackthorn you should be thanking. He oversaw the construction. Give this to him, would you? What is it? Pet cold cinders. After he left, I spent years trying to eke the most out of our forges. That there was my answer. Chuck it in the fire, and your forge will burn hotter for longer, which will do wonders for your steel. Our secret for yours. Only fair. I've always envied Blackthorn. Since the day I became chief, I spent every spare moment trying to match up to the bastard. No amount of sleepless nights at the Amber will ever bridge that gap, though. He's a genius, plain and simple. The man Dravosht needed, but he took all his talent and left, gifted and free. Is it any wonder I hate his guts? The cinders would mean more coming from you. I need to forgive him first, and that's not gonna happen. Well, you know what they say? Or if land weren't built in a day and all that. These things take time. Especially when they involve two geezers who hold grudges tighter than their hammers. But what matters is, Blackthorn's got that twinkle back in his eye. And I'd call that a job well done. <laughs> so would I. I reckon he's gonna be at it a while yet though, so why don't you head off without us? I'll see that the old git gets home safe and sound. See that you both do. I'll save the cinders till then. All right, it'll be a nice little surprise for him. Gentlemen, I see you both made it home in one piece. Yeah, well, we didn't want to have stay out welcome. The whole village turned out for a go on the bellows after you left. Everyone except Zoltan has. Didn't see I nor air of him. Oh, but that reminds me. I have something for you.
go, Cinder. How'd you come by this? And you're sure he wanted me to have it? I'm sure. He didn't say so, but I think he wants to forgive you. <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah. Uh, you know I can never leave this place, don't you? Every time you put on mail, you and the curse breakers are trusting me with your lives. There's no greater honor for a smith than that. I'm not about to go crawling back to Zoltan for forgiveness, but I will make good use of his cinder. And if that helps save even a single life, then he'll have my gratitude. What was it you said he called me? Huh? A genius? And he spent sleepless night trying to copy me, did he? Sounds like I better get to work. I've got a reputation to uphold. It's good to see you back on form, Blackthorn. I don't know how you pair put up with me sometimes, but I'm grateful all the same. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. About to put Zoltan back in his place. Ain't got the art to tell him how similar they are. Stubborn bastards. A little healthy competition should be good for him. You're not wrong. Still, it's a shame him and Zoltan couldn't let bygones be bygones. No use grumbling about it now, though. Blackthorn's happy. Or as near to happy as he gets. And that's good enough for me. Saying for you, dear. That it? Fine. If it's knowledge you seek, we've tons of plenty to guide.
right, Clive. My dad had it all worked out. He'd be proud of you, Mid. His writings may have helped, but this achievement is all yours. <laughs> Can we catch them? The Ine is one of the largest, fastest vessels ever built. And it won't help she has the wind at her back. Any other ship would be hard pressed to keep pace with her, let alone reel her in. But this isn't any other ship. This is the Enterprise! And the world's never seen anything like my dad's engine. It certainly hasn't. Clive, what do you know of Barnabas Tharn? Only what the bards sing. And he sailed to ash from southern lands. But it was his mastery of the blade which won him the throne. And that his sword, Odin's sword, can sever the very threads of creation. But don't lose any sleep over a last tilt. We'll do what we must to survive. What we must. The light! I thought this cool was meant to be hidden! Mid! Company! Hey? We'll hold them off until the ship is ready! But hurry! Bollocks! All hands! Man your stations! Everyone with me?
was easy enough. All right, you lousy lot. Get your horses on board. She's ready to sail. You heard the captain. <laughs> Clive. Confound it. Then it is as I feared. Sleipnir is no man, but a creation of Odin. Phoenix's fiery fundament! Have you no normal enemies? Another round? Of course we are. Right, Lord Rosfield? My boy, there was a time people called me the Executioner. Or was it my eyes? No matter, heads will roll all the same. Mate, new plan! You leave, we follow! Follow? Swimming, are you? Oh, bother me! Weigh anchor! Engine's dead slow ahead! Have care, my friend. It is not blood that runs through an edge's veins. These foes will not fall easily. But they will fall. Like oaks before a woodman's axe. Good thing I brought one! How long are we meant to keep this up? As long as it takes. Unless you have a better idea. Well, I've already killed at least five of the bastards. Fuck it. Let's do the lot. <laughs>
What do you want? <sighs> That's quite a mess you've made. And wholly unnecessary. <sighs> you are my offering to Muthos. I would not see you damaged. I don't suppose Mid has a spare engine? <laughs> Since you rose from the grave, my fortunes have plummeted. Are you absolutely certain of this quest of yours, Clive? The foes you face are as terrible as they are numerous. Aye, and they'd have us live and die on their terms, which should answer your question. <laughs> You have that same stubborn look as your father did when he set his mind to something. On the battlefield, I am but a single axe. A deadly one, mind, but a single one nonetheless. Yet what you require is a thousand, and I believe my old friend in Brandalar can provide them. Take care, Clive. I have many more tales of your father's exploits to share. And I cannot very well do that if you're dead. Again. Good luck, Uncle. And may fair winds attend you. As for you, Joshua, take care. I shall do my best, Uncle. Farewell, my nephews. When next you see me, it shall be with an army at my back. Cheerio! <laughs> 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 <sighs> Keep up, my boy. Well, we can't have him showing us up now, can we? We would never hear the end of it.
What have I done? My lord. between here and Walud, but any ship heading north has to round Zemeckis and put through the narrow. Maintain our current bearing north-northeast, and we'll catch the Black Galleon before she vanishes again. What's to prevent her from circling around Ash from the south? With these winds in those waters, it'd take him forever and a fortnight to reach Stone here. Mid knows what she's talking about, Clive. Better than any of us lot, anyway. I say we do as she tells... Sails on the horizon. She's ours. Look alive, boys! Pull ahead! And keep those furnaces fed! Aye, aye. Do you feel that, Jill? All hands! Battle stations! Let's see what this girl can do. Where one leads, so does the other follow. The bond of consciousness which joins them condemning both to the same fate. Yet my every attempt to strike it from their hearts serves only to tighten its hold. Fascinating. Not my blade cannot sever. Never. I'll find her.
you hide, Herr Barnabas?
I'll explain later. Hands. <laughs> can you walk? Out of here, I can. <laughs> Stand still! of fire. I see naught before me but a guttering flame. Then... Can you go on? I think so. Oh. But to, to where? to Joshua. The Phoenix? Oh, I expect he will survive. This consciousness in which you coil your feeble souls is grown thick with desperation. And thus has my master turned to my blade. The 
world will soon be paid. Haunted in black. And all that live shall gather in death's autumn wake. Not if we remove the cause of this misery. Not if we destroy the last of the Mother Crystals and restore balance to the world. Come. Do you truly think it's so simple? The Blight is inevitable. Not even the Almighty might stop its endless march. Your efforts... Will avail us naught, naught that is, but suffering. You must embrace the truth, Mythos. Accept your place with the Lord. Keep it. As long as there's a chance, there's a choice. Ever led astray by your blind resolve. the inevitability of your divine fate, however much it may hurt. Get as far away as you can. Clive, no! Trust me, Jill. <laughs> 